120. I thought our guys did a great job of just coming out and having the right approach, right mentality. Uh, the spirit was good. Obviously, you seen the ball going the basket. The spirit's good. Um, and I thought our guys competed on the defensive end after what we went through in Brooklyn, the response, uh, resiliency to come out and just put an effort, put a serious effort defensively out there against a team that, you know, played really well and um, got us pretty good last time we were here. So. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. Um, was this a strong finish that you expected? Uh, the finish was a little suspect. Uh, but we finished the game. There's, there's always something to, to work on, obviously. You know, valuing the basketball down the stretch, knowing they need to speed you up and try and get turnovers. Uh, we've got to be a little bit more, a little more organized down the stretch. But, you know, I thought our guys did a good job start to finish. Um, you know, they got the lead back at the end of the third, and it didn't rattle us. So just the response, and we were doing it with different guys. Trey had a good start for us tonight, and Jeremy finished us off extremely well. Coach, with 39 free throw attempts, talk about the the aggressiveness, aggressiveness of the team. Yeah, no, I, I thought our, I, I just thought the spirit of our team was really good tonight. Um, we didn't settle. We didn't take uh, any ill-advised shots. We were trying to get in the paint. We were cutting hard. Uh, we got in the bonus early, and knowing the third, I think in the second, and that was the point of emphasis. Once we got in the bonus, was to keep attacking and not settling. And I thought, I thought our guys, our guards specifically got into the paint, collapsed their defense, and then we were made plays behind it. Coach, what were you guys able to do defensively against John Wall? He didn't shoot very well, didn't seem to get your rhythm on. Yeah, you know, the biggest thing with him is to keep him out of the paint. And, you know, he took 18 shots and 11 of them were threes. And, you know, he's going to make shots. And he's going to have nights like he did against the Lakers where he really gets going. But our emphasis is keep him out of transition and keep him out of the paint. And, and uh, if we can do that, it slows up everything. We don't have to collapse our defense. Multiple guys don't have to run in, and that's how they get some of their threes. He ends up taking more shots out on the perimeter. Uh, and if he starts making those, we'll make an adjustment. But I thought our guys did a great job of, of loading up and crowding the paint. Another um, good game for John Collins, 20 points, 13 boards. What are you seeing out of him? He's having a really good December. You know, it's weird. He's just, you know, he's in foul trouble the entire game. You think he's not in rhythm, and then you look down, and he's got 20 and 13. And you know the, the number I keep looking at are six offensive rebounds, and it's his activity, his awareness, is um, just being in the paint. And we know in pick and rolls we can find him, but when shots are going up and he's still down there, and he's got smalls that are switching on him, he's punishing those guys down there. And so I think his activity has been excellent, especially in the offensive class. You mentioned the fish kick from Jeremy. What, what did you see from him to the pick and roll? <laughs> pick and roll mid pick and roll. You know, Jeremy has lived in mid pick and rolls his entire career, high school, college, and, and even in the pros. And uh, I don't, I don't know if he scored a field goal in the, in the, before the fourth quarter. And so he just found a rhythm. You know, they were they were a little confused on their coverage, and he was able to get in the paint and get to the, get to his layups. He had a drop off, I think, one time. And once he got in rhythm, you know, we've seen it before. He just kind of you know, just milk it, and he got going for us. So, you know, I told the guys at the end of the bench, I said, I was trying to sub some of you guys, but we had a great rhythm. Uh, Jeremy led us, and we we're going to finish it with the guys that were out there. Was there a concerted effort to get to the basket with the Wizards not really having a true rim protector out there? Yeah, a lot of it was try and play pick and roll, bait the switch, and see if we can get Alex or Dwayne down low. Um, you know, I think that's why Alex Alex ends up with 10 free throws, you know, and that was that was a big part of the game in the third quarter. His awareness, his presence down in the paint, um, you know, not so much just the guards getting in there, but if they're going to switch and they're small, let's get it into our big guys, see if we can get something easy at the basket or some fouls. So uh, I thought Alex did a great job. Alex Lynn did a great job of just getting in the paint and getting to the foul line. With the Wizards just adding a reset at the last minute, did that change your game plan at all? No, you know, the, 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 the emphasis is always with John. And Ariza just gives them a, a great defender. He gives them a great three-point shooting threat. Uh, but it, it starts still with containing John Wall and then trying to figure out how to guard Bradley. But we haven't solved that part yet. He's a good player. Um, you know, he, he's averaging 33, I think, against us in the two games. So he, he had another big performance, and we got to slow him down. But it starts with those two guys because they initiate, and a lot of the offenses ran through those two guys. The reason just gives them a great presence defensively. Uh, and he gives you another three-point shooter out there. 
Coach, I know you've talked about this lineup before, but what made you finish the game with Jeremy Lin and Trey Young out there? You know, I, I knew they were going to try and speed us up, and so um, in trying to avoid turnovers, getting your two ball islanders back on the court. And so they were starting to become more aggressive with Jeremy as he was getting tired, and we wanted to keep him out there, but we also wanted to make sure we had another ball handler out there. And so I was trying to get both of those guys out, keep Kevin out there, who's another uh, facilitator. Um, then the flip side, you're trying to keep your best defenders out there as well to, to contain Bill and, and John Wall. But, um, you know, because we had a, a big enough cushion, it was more about value in the basketball. So I was trying to get Trey and, and Jeremy out there just for that reason. All right. Thanks, Coach. All right.